The district attorney accused of mishandling the Ahmad Arbery case in Glynn County, Georgia, now has an opponent in the upcoming election. News for Jack's reporter Kelly Wiley is joining us live with who is running against Jackie Johnson. Kelly? Yeah, independent candidate Keith Higgins is now running against the incumbent Republican candidate Jackie Johnson. She was originally running unopposed, but since Higgins has gotten more than 3,000 signatures in order to get on this ballot. Now, Johnson, she's come under some local and national criticism this year for her handling of the Ahmad Arbery investigation. The attorney general of Georgia requested the federal government investigate her once video of the shooting came to light. Johnson's longtime investigator, you'll remember, in the district attorney's office is now accused of murdering Arbery. Investigators say he and his son chased Arbery through a neighborhood just outside of Brunswick for several minutes. And then his son ultimately pulled the trigger and shot Arbery, according to GBI investigators. Commissioners in Glynn County months ago accused Johnson of blocking the arrest of her former investigator the day of that deadly shooting and then taking herself off the case several days later. Johnson has denied that she or anyone from her office told uh, any, any investigator not to make an arrest. She says she immediately gave the case to the DA who usually takes over if she has a conflict. The district attorney says she passed the case along to uh, uh, Kate passed the district attorney, excuse me, that she passed the case along to is also being investigated alongside her uh, for his lack of, of the arrest in this case. Johnson has said the accusations against her are essentially sour grapes from the police department that she was in the middle of investigating. And Keith Higgins, this candidate that's now running against her, is running as an independent. And he says he's doing that because he doesn't feel politics or partisan politics have any place in the justice system. We do have have an article on this explaining much more on newsforjacks.com for now reporting in Jacksonville Kelly Wiley channel 4 the local station